print your bank statements, highlight your spending, cut out all of your subscriptions, and no more Starbucks. Hey, you've done all of these things, right? And you still can't seem to get your budgeting to work. Now, it's very stressful for me. Okay, I hear you. Let's talk about five things that you may not hear quite as often as the ones I just mentioned. And these five things are gonna help you save more money to add to the plus side of your budget sheet. And we're gonna cash stuff $723 at the same time. Let's see what these five things are. Okay, everybody, put your highlighters and your bank statements away. We are not even gonna go there today because you, you've been here for a little while, right? You already know the part where you meal plan and you sell stuff to make extra cash. Yes, yes, yes we know. But, but you still feel like you're spinning your wheels. Why? Let's count out the $723 and then we'll see if we can figure this out. One, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 700, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yes, I have $723 to cash stuff with you today. So let's go ahead and get started with the first thing that you can do to start seeing some green plus signs in your checking account. Now this is something that I did when I first decided to turn things around. I don't know where I came up with this idea, but I'm glad I did. This is a little different, but what I did was I looked through all of my Amazon purchases that were still within the return window and I returned it all, all of the clothes, all of the home decor, you guys, all kinds of stuff. I don't even remember what the total was, but I know it was hundreds of dollars. I then went around the house and just returned all kinds of things. When those little plus green deposit signs started showing up in my checking account, that was definitely the boost that I needed to keep going with saving my money. So number one, return items that you've purchased recently and get your money back. We all have them, right? Impulse buys, boredom scrolling, take it all back. We're gonna go over my budget binder really quick. And we're gonna start with my budget sheet and my corresponding cash planning sheet. This sheet was filled out right before I filmed and tells me what each envelope in my four cash binders is going to be getting this week. So let's go ahead and fill this out. This is actually just a summary of this. So the first part here is the income that is left after all of our bills have been paid. I have $880 left. I take that out in cash and we're gonna put those in my four cash binders. My on the go cash wallet. and all of my savings challenges for the week. So down here at the bottom, we take the income, 880, and we subtract the binders, the wallet, and the savings challenges. And when we do the math of the income minus all of that, we should be left with zero dollars, which we are. So my budgeting after bills is all completed. And what's next? Spending trackers. We've got the no spend. And we have my spending tracker and Jason's spending tracker. Let's see how we did this week. And we're gonna start with me. This was last week. I bought lash adhesive from Amazon. And this week, you guys, I spent nothing zero dollars on anything that was not budgeted. Yay, I'm very proud of myself for that. Let's see how Jason did. 
This is where we left off for him two weeks ago. Don't forget, he had a complete no spend week last week. This week, he did order DoorDash for himself. I was out of town. He spent 31 33 so he had one spend day. I'm very proud of him. And he has a little bit of an excuse, right? I wasn't here, so... He got himself some Chinese food. I actually don't like Chinese food, so that's why he got it while I wasn't here. And I actually think he ate that food for like two days straight. So he really uh, stretched that $31 that he spent. So let's mark off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days of no spending for Jen. And we'll stuff that envelope when we come to it later on in the video. And we'll come back to my other two savings challenges later on as well. Okay, you guys, so I have the number two way for you to boost your budget. Now, I watch a lot of Ramit Siti videos and interviews, and this is something that he speaks about in great detail, and that is to negotiate your salary. And no, this is not a quick thing. This is not like taking items back to Amazon. This is actually a three month process to do this properly. And I'm going to link Ramit's video here and down in the description for you guys to watch. He lays out the three month plan for you. Each month he tells you what to do, what to say with actual scripts. So number two, know your worth, make yourself indispensable at your job and be compensated appropriately for the work that you do. Negotiate your salary. Okay, let's get into this cash stuffing and start with the B binder. Jolene, she gets 25 every week. And she's up to 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. This is her 529 college fund. We give it $100 every month. We are actually gonna skip Uhtred's food and Uhtred's care. He is all set for now. And we're gonna go to nails. And I'm giving it 25 this week. So now I have the $50 and I'm gonna go ahead and order the kit on Amazon and start doing my nails myself at home and save some cash. Lashes I'm also doing at home now and I'm saving a ton of money on that as well. And we're gonna go to hair. 70 and let's see what I'm up to 50 100 150 170 190 210 230 my appointment is next week and I will be ready to go wine is getting 30 and <laughs> no this is not just for wine for me I decided to go ahead and make this envelope for just all of the adult beverages of the house 20 40 50 60 and that way when the kids come to visit, we've got some extra saved up. Takeout is getting 25 and has 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. Next. Okay, the black binder, we're actually skipping the home and the electric and we're just gonna move right into groceries. And if you've been following along, you know that I had 250 last week. We did go to Publix two times. So I have 46, 20, 45, and six. And today I'm adding the regular budgeted amount of 20, 40, 60, 80, 150. So now we're up to 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 95, 96, 196. And we're all done with the black binder. Okay, and since we're halfway through the binders, let's talk about number three way to boost your budget. This one I have actually mentioned before, but it's been a while and I have to mention it again because it is an awesome way to make extra cash. In fact, just before I filmed this video, I told Jason the five ways that I was gonna share with you today. And this one, he raised his eyebrows a little bit. I think he might be thinking about doing this one himself. And it is going on this app called the Neighbor app. And I love this one because anyone can do it. It's super easy. 
What you do is you sign up to be what they call a host and you rent out extra space around your house. I just looked on there to see and people were renting out their garage space, their driveway, an empty lot that they have maybe in their yard, an extra bedroom, a closet, a shed. I even saw where people were renting the sides of their house for people to park a boat or maybe their RV. Now how I know about this app is I've actually used it before. At one time we had two RVs and finding a rental space for an RV in California is very difficult. Most of them are completely booked up and you have to get on a waiting list. So somehow, I don't know how, I found this app and I ended up contacting this gentleman and he had a huge yard. He had acreage, I don't know how much, but he was using quite a large space for people to park RVs and boats. He had a little business going on, let me tell you guys. And the first time I went to him, with my smaller RV, I think he had around 15 different RVs and boats in his yard. I went back to him a year later to park my other RV. And at this point, he had his entire yard lined up with RVs, boats, buses, all kinds of things. And at $150 a space, he was making some money. So number three, the neighbor app, if you have any extra space in your house, outside of your house, think about doing that, rent it out. And keep in mind, the app actually handles the insurance, so you don't have to worry about that, and they take the payments and direct deposit them into your checking account, so you don't have to worry about collecting payment either. Okay, let's get into this yellow binder and see what I'm gonna be stuffing in here today. Car insurance never gets skipped. This one is $46 every week so that when the six months is up, I have the full amount to pay the car insurance. <laughs> I will say I love that feeling. When it's due, just pay it and be done with it. I don't have to worry about it for another six months. Insurance is up to 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, two, three, and four, 184. And I'm actually gonna go to this medical envelope because I have one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 80, $500 even. And back in January, I had $1,500 saved up and that money was supposed to go to my dentist. I just got two implants done and I knew that I was gonna owe him $2,000, but you guys, that money did not go to my dentist. It went for the deposit on this house. So I just got the bill, the first bill from my dentist in California, and I wanna go ahead and send him this $500 payment. So I'm gonna take this out and we'll start building this back up. Tide, as always, gets 200 and is now up to one, two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars all done with the yellow binder. Okay, let's take a break from the binders and get into these savings challenges. The first one is erase debt one at a time. I'm giving Verizon $43 a week so that I can pay them off. So let's start with that. 20, 40, one, two, and three, $43. Mark off another symbol, that feels good. And you guys, look at this envelope. It is piling up. I've been putting all kinds of extra cash in here. I am ready to get this paid off and be done with owing for phones. Terrible, terrible feeling. I will never, ever, ever buy new phones again. eBay refurbished only. Erase debt is up to 250. 320, 70, 32, 672 dollars total. Oh my goodness, you guys. So close on this one. Cannot wait to send this in. Next. 
Okay, so as most of you know, I actually did complete this savings challenge last week and I took the $246 that I saved up and I put it into that erase debt one at a time. But down here at the bottom in the little bonus section, this is for every time you say no to takeout, coffees, drinks, shopping trips, etc. you're supposed to save a dollar for each one. I really don't have any of these happen to me very often. So I have 19 left. I only had one marked off. I'm gonna go ahead, round that up and take the $20 and add it into here. Add the 20. And now I have 692 for Verizon. And I'll print out and start a new one for next week. Okay, you guys, let's get into number four, how to boost your budget. This is a really good one, and I don't think most people think about this. Sell other people's stuff. Yes, maybe you don't have anything left to sell. You've already gone through all of your stuff, and there's nothing left. Good job. But... Think about other people in your life. Maybe your mom or your uncle Craig has a bunch of stuff sitting around that you know they want to clear out. Ask them, say, hey, I will move this stuff for you. Let's negotiate a fair percentage split between the two of us. My personal opinion is 60-40. 60 for them since they purchased the item in the first place. But if you've ever sold anything online, you know you'll be working for that 40%. So let them know the work involved that you'll be doing for your 40% cut. You have to take photos, write the listing, answer messages, meet with the potential buyers. It is a lot of work. And if you've never sold anything before, I got you guys. Right here is a video on selling items for you to check out so you can get ready to sell other people's stuff. All right, let's get into the white binder and we're gonna start with the no spend. I had seven days, no spending. I've decided to make each of those days worth $2. So that is 10, 11, 12, 13, $14. And I now have 200, 250, 260, 65, 66 in prop money. That's in the bank. Plus 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41 in cash for a total of 307. Next up is date night. And I'm pretty excited about this. Next month, we will be going to our favorite restaurant. It is on the ocean. Their food is amazing and we just love it there. So I'm very excited about date night. Today, I'm gonna put 25, 25. Each symbol is worth five. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in five of these. Okay, I've got them all colored in and let's see what date night is up to. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. And I think I'm gonna have to up this a little bit for the next few weeks because these reservations are not just for Jason and myself, but our kids are also coming to visit. So we're all gonna go together. And next up is my on-the-go Bella Taylor cash wallet. And once I'm done stuffing my cash wallet, we're going to see who the giveaway winner is of our last Bella Taylor giveaway. So what I spent this week out of my wallet is 25 for my personal and 25 for the miscellaneous. And we're all done with this. Let's see who the winner is. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is go to the YouTube video from last week and get all of the comments and we're gonna put them over here in comment picker scroll down a little bit we're gonna filter the duplicate users we have one winner today we're gonna show those random names for 15 seconds let's see how many comments we had okay we have 341 of you Let's see who the winner is. Okay, we have Lorena Vanilla 
9126. Let it be me. Yes, you are the winner. The fourth and final Bella Taylor Cash Wallet. Lorena Vanilla 9126. So Lorena, what I want you to do is comment an entirely new comment on this video. That way your comment comes up as a whole new comment for me to see and I'll know it's you. And last week's winner, Ali Mendoza, 6977, I haven't heard from you yet. So the two of you comment on this video and then I'll let both of you know how to claim your Bella Taylor wallet. You get to choose anyone you want from their website, which is super cool. And I wanna thank Rich and Jen, the, the owners of Bella Taylor for being so gracious and giving us four of their wallets as giveaways here on Two Sister Bees. And don't forget, they've also given The Hive a 20% off code for their website. It is linked below for you guys, 20% off anything on their website for us. So if you're new to cash stuffing and you want to see how you do before you spend any extra money, I did make these dashboards for you guys. This is a freebie starter set. I made the categories, things that I know we all spend on. We bet coffee, personal, online shopping, groceries, takeout, our kids. These are all things we spend on. So I tried to keep them as basic as possible for our newbies. You just print these, cut them out, put them in your envelopes, in your binder, and get started with your cash stuffing and see how you do. Okay, you guys, I have one last idea, number five, to boost your budget. And this is another thing that I have done in the past. Ask your current employer if there's anything that they need done that you could do for them. And when I was a single mom trying to make ends meet, living paycheck to paycheck, I would ask my boss to allow me to come in on Saturday mornings. That way I could get organized and caught up for the week coming up. And that made life easier for him, me, our patients, everyone. I also did things like created and updated his social media. I met with vendors that he didn't want to necessarily meet with, so I took that off of his plate. I marketed his company, came up with ways to boost his bottom line. You guys, I painted the office. So if there's anything ever that your boss mentions in passing or you notice on your own needs to be done, let your boss know you're available and you are willing to do it. Just ask. And honestly, this ties into our number two, doesn't it? Negotiating your salary. Doing these two things simultaneously will really boost your presence in your workplace with your boss. Okay, my rising budgeters, comment below which one of these five things you wanna try. Maybe you wanna do two, maybe you wanna do all of them. How awesome would that be? We've got returning stuff, negotiating salary, the neighbor app, selling other people's stuff, and working overtime for your current employer. Which one are you gonna do? And I wanna say congratulations again to our winner, Lorena. Don't forget to comment below. And I will see you guys Sunday for our savings challenge video. And in the meantime, here's that video on how to sell things in person or online. Time to make some extra cash.